Hi Curlies, welcome to another video. Ooh, you know, when is someone coming to clean off my vanity? Um, it was awesome until recently. <laughs> Hi Curlies, I hope all is well. Um, hope you've caught the videos. I'm back in the swing of things, so that's probably a good thing. Um, I guess what I want to talk about in this video, someone asked could I do a routine on what I do to my hair. Um, and I guess you mean like for bedtime, I guess. I don't really have this magical routine because um, I have hair that's curly, even if I use a conditioner on it. Um, like some of you, I do have shrinkage and I'm trying to wean myself off of the Eco Styler gel and all my other gels. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you already know I'm an Eco Styler gel um, girl. I love the Eco Styler. Okay, sorry about that. I had some memory card issues. <laughs> this is crazy, but I keep it real on my channel and you guys know that I keep it real on my channel. So yeah, I had some memory card issues. I'm back. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I don't really have a special um, magical routine. When my hair was longer, before I cut it into this afro bob look, <laughs> when my hair was longer, what I would do is take it and put it all on top of my head. And I was doing it too tight. So I look like a unicorn, but I was doing it too tight. Some people call it the pineapple, but I had it right here, so I call it the unicorn. I was doing it too tight and pulling my edges, so then I had to work on growing my edges out. So now I just do two ponytails. And I usually use some of these. I collect these from the Dollar General, Family Dollar. Um, I will open this and show you some of the ones that I use that I really, really like. Uh, I really like these. These can be expensive, but if you can, get them from Dollar General and sometimes Dollar Tree. They're the satin ties. Get them from places like that so you don't spend a lot of money. Um, I use these also when I'm doing that. And they don't have to match. I have mismatched ones because I bought a whole bunch off eBay. I think I had like a hundred for five dollars. I even gave Curl Girl some of these things. <laughs> I love these things. When I do my pineapple, of course, I was using these, but um, my hair in the back is growing out. So now when I do a pineapple, a real pineapple this time, it's up here. Um, I use these. I was using these too when I was getting lazy and didn't want to do my hair. These cute ponytail holders I got from Target, they're really cute, but because I wear a lot of oil on my hair sometimes, I've already torn some of these up. So the little decoration thing peels off, but it's still a great elastic band uh, to use. Um, oh, here's what I know. Oh yeah, I have some headbands that are glitter. Yeah, this, I wear these as just regular headbands because they're really, they've got glitter on them. <laughs> they're really cute. But yeah, that's, that's what I do and I don't really care if they, you know, match or anything like that. Um, I also have some satin scrunchies that I got from Satin Cap Online. Um, yeah, the slap caps. Um, I've got some of those scrunchies. The same company, Satin Caps Online, I think. They sell scrunchies. And right before the holidays came, like a month before, they had scrunchies for like, I don't know, I think it was like $3 or something. But this is one of those satin ties that I use. Um, I buy mine, but a lot of girls are starting to go to the fabric store and just buy the stretchy elastic and tie it and do their own. But yeah, um, at nighttime, what I generally do is, and they don't have to match, as you can see these don't match, at nighttime, and it's not nighttime actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's see, I'll show you what I do. This is what I do. I just kind of grab my hair, and I just put one of these on here, just like that. And I get the other side. Don't mind this side, I'm still working on that and I haven't touched up my gray. Since I'm doing my coloring myself, I don't touch up as often as I used to. But um, this is the way that I go to bed. And if I, let me see if I have a slap cap nearby. I thought I did, oh I do have one. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, this one's a little bit poofy. Um, normally I don't do this twice. I don't do this with it because it'll be too tight. So I just do it one time. And it holds my hair because my hair is really poofy. And this is a wash and go. This is a three day wash and go. So uh, I use the Dax combing cream for this um, wash and go. And most of the time you will find me with a part Look at that gray. <laughs> but this is the company I was telling you about, Satin Caps Online. Um, I think her name is Grace Elay. Elay, if I'm saying it right. I know you've seen these slap caps everywhere. I just sleep with one of these on. And voila. I remove my makeup. Um, I use makeup remover sheets that I buy from um, Walgreens, Family Dollar. I use Neutrogena. Um, I was getting some from Big Lots, but open the ones from Big Lots, and two of them were green, so I never bought any more. So I try to buy the Neutrogena ones. But this is the way I go to bed. Once I take the makeup off, of course. And then in the morning, <laughs> yes, in the morning, when I get up, um, I have a little bit of water mixed with conditioner. I think it's like, I don't even know if it's Tresemme. It's probably one of my leave-in conditioners in here. I usually just put just a little bit. I never put a lot of conditioner because if I spray too much and I have a gel in my hair, it's going to flake. I'm not trying to do gels right now. Um, about two weeks ago, I had gel in when I was sick. And, of course, that came in handy because it held the hairstyle until I got better. But normally, I just pull the scrunchie off, just kind of spritz my hair. And I do this after I get up and wash my face and all that good stuff and brush my teeth and all that good stuff. I kind of do it early because it's cold in North Carolina and so I, I kind of I love these um, flare saw bottles because it lets me just mist and just pick that out a little bit. I try not to add any more product to the hair because I don't mind if it's poofy. When I first did it it was flat so it got bigger like the second day <laughs> I just yanked that off. Don't do that. Take it off carefully. <laughs> Careful, carefully, uh, and then I just spritz this, you know, get in there really good. Yeah, I'm wetting up my shirt, but that's okay. Because, like I said, it's just a little bit of conditioner. It's not enough to really damage anything. And this is basically my morning routine. This is how I do, you know. Because keep in mind, it's cold in North Carolina. And after I do this, of course, um... All this week, all last week, I wore a cap on my head because it was cold. So what I do then is I have a black slap cap that I actually wear out in public. This is the one I wear around the house and at nighttime. Um, I have a gray one that I sleep in. Um, I have another color too. I have like four slap caps and of course six scrunchies. <laughs> I know I went crazy every time there's a sale I tell people go ahead and get you one of these because if you don't if you want something cute to sleep in it's you know it's really cute and you can wear it as you know like you know how people wear the little slouch cap that kind of hangs back but yeah this is basically my routine even in the mornings I don't really have this magical routine I just kind of go in there with my fingers poof it out um, sometimes I'll close the part up Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll pull the hair up like that. So, yeah, if I want it out of my face, of course, I do that. Um, but, yeah, that's basically my routine. I don't have this magical <laughs> routine. I wish I did. And for the young lady that asked me, could I do my uh, curly hair routine that's basically it and when I wash my hair uh, I've done videos of me in the shower shampooing my hair so I shampoo my hair just like everybody else um, I no longer section it off I, I just I just don't do that anymore I just don't because my hair is not that long anymore and I cut it so I don't need to do that anymore now I just want to kinda grow the sides out um, but as you can see the back is growing out from where I cut it so I ain't even gonna sweat it. At least, you know, I cut some of that blonde out and got some of the dead ends and all that stuff. Because I cut it all over before I gave myself a haircut. I trimmed the cut, you know, the hair. So, yeah, that's about all. I don't really have this 
magical routine. I wish I did. Just two of these in a Ellie Mae type ponytail. Ellie Mae Clampett ponytail, you know. I never do high ponytails. I can say that because when I try to sleep, it gives me a headache. So I try to do them low like here or at the back. And of course, slap on one of these bad boys. And yeah, I go to bed and I get up in the morning, take that off, take the elastic bands off. Um, a little bit of water and conditioner or leave-in in my Flarisol. And yeah, now I will tell you this. In my Flarisol bottle, I do use distilled water. Um, that is something I've recently started doing. And it really, really is it really really helps so yeah I do I do that I said I was gonna start using a little bit of oil in the water but here's the thing sometimes I'm already dressed or if I get it on my skin and then put something on it's gonna get on my clothes so that's why I just use a little bit of leave-in a little bit of this you know but yeah that's my curly hair routine I don't really have anything major I mean if I'm wearing gel I will put a little bit, I'll do the gel, you know, both ponytails, I'll have this in a ponytail and then do the gel like that, spray a little bit of this, do the gel, but here lately I've been using cream, so I haven't put anything on my hair since I did the wash and go a couple of days ago, um, put a little bit of omelet oil on my scalp and that was it, so. I wish I had this magical thing to tell you, you know, because I know girls always say, how do you get your curls? <laughs> this and I'm actually one of those people that can do a conditioner and have curls you know use that as my styler the issue is because I use permanent hair color sometimes it doesn't always hold and the permanent hair color loosened my curls so that's why my curls look like this I do have tighter curls and as you can see my hair is already shrinking up I don't mind <laughs> I really don't mind so yeah that um I don't have a magic thing for our curly hair routine. Um, that is it. So, yeah, I hope I answered your questions, um, miss. If not, uh, let me know if I didn't, you know, and I can probably, you know, do this video again. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. I'm pretty, pretty basic. I don't have, you know, this. I think if I had a lot of hair, I would and in the beginning when my hair was growing out yeah I did I would do like sections like here 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 that's my phone <laughs> that is my ringtone Cardi B well my notification sound but anyway yeah uh, I'm gonna get out of here because uh, I have more videos to shoot and uh, yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video and I will see you.